I'm Jeremy from Flights and Webshop and I want to share some insights with you about setting up your flight stick in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. And especially when you have a flight stick which isn't automatically met by the sim itself. We do get a lot of questions about this from people who own a joystick which is somewhat older or for example a CH stick or as used in this video a Speedlink joystick. If you have tried flying a plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator but weren't successful in flying it using a joystick, please watch this video. So the thing I want to show you today is how to set up your uh, flight stick when there isn't a profile available in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And the easiest way to find out uh, if there is a profile available is just go to the uh, control options and then check out the, uh, well, the, the joystick. I'm using the Dark Tornado from Speedlink. Uh, and in this case you see a big question mark which means that there isn't a flight profile available, a control profile available. So we have to set it up by ourselves and uh, well, um, it's fairly easy, but um, yeah, you know where to look for. And uh, well, that's starting by setting the filter to all because otherwise you don't see any input uh, possibilities. Um, well, let's start um, by assigning the axis, then the throttle and then the several buttons. And uh, at the end, take a look at the sensitivity. For now, we start with the axis and uh, well, uh, let's start with the uh, aileron axis. Um, well, I see it is already open, but um, I'm, I'm just going to show you how you can search for uh, for the ailerons. So that's uh, just typing in ailerons uh, within the search box. Uh, one hit, the ailerons axis. Well, that's where we're looking for. Um, click in the box just behind ailerons axis, and then click on search by input and then just make an input with your joystick. So moving it to the left and uh, well, Microsoft Flight Simulator recognize the input and then you can just validate your input and well, you see that you already have set up your ailerons axis. Well, continuing with the elevator axis, um, here it is. Uh, and it's again, clicking in the button box behind the elevator axis, click on search by input and then just move your stick uh, backwards or forwards. And there you have it again. Uh, another input and another uh, access saved. The Speedlink Dark Tornado doesn't have any, um, well, doesn't have any stick twist. And I'm going to show you that you also can look for your rudder axis. Uh, here it is, and it's just the same. Uh, click on it, click on search by input. Uh, well, I can't show you how it works, uh, but uh, if you if you use the, the, the steps before, uh, just uh, twist your stick and click on validate, and then you also have uh, set up your axis. Uh, last axis to set up is the throttle, um, and the easiest thing to do if you have if you have just one slider is uh, to look for the um, throttle axis and that's not a throttle one two three or four it's just the throttle axis uh, and it's over here uh, because with this uh, axis you you, well, you you basically uh, uh, make sure you uh, uh, use all throttles instead of uh, throttle one or throttle two um, yeah it's the same uh, click on uh, the box and then move your throttle and you see the slider uh, being recognized by Flight Simulator and validate it. And there you go, all axes are already assigned. So we can continue with the buttons. Uh, and it's actually basically the same. Um, let's start with the brakes button. Um, click on the box, click on search by input. And instead of moving uh, your, um, well, your joystick now, it's just uh, yeah, using the button. So I'll uh, use button number one, it's, uh, it's the trigger on the Speedlink joystick and uh, validate and we also set up the brakes. Um, well yeah, let's configure the other seven buttons as well. Uh, on button number two, I'm going to use the autopilot master switch. Click, switch by input, button number two. There you go. Um, and don't forget to click validate uh, because otherwise you won't save it. Um, well, then we uh, want to uh, use our flaps um, and we want to use the uh, um, increase flaps. Uh, let's put that one on button number four and validate. And we uh, want to retract flaps 
and we use the uh, button number three. Okay. So flaps are set up. Um, let's continue with lights. And there is uh, uh, there's also a possibility to um, uh, because there, there there are a lot of lights, but there's also a possibility to filter on the essentials. And there's uh, well, if you, if you search for lights in essential, you can uh, use the toggle lights. It's uh, ju just on or off. Um, again, in the box, search by input, and then we use another button, and that's number five. Okay. Um, for number six, I uh, thought of the spoilers. Oh. Type it in correctly. Spoilers. That's button number six. Validate. Um, well, might be useful if we also have landing gear. That will be button number seven. And for the most flight simmers, uh, well, they also want to uh, uh, look outside. Um, well, I, I now selected the essentials. Um, so, well, there are uh, the essential functions. Uh, so you can also have the camera mode switches. Well, let's uh, just use this one, and let's use button number. Well, for this example, I use button number seven. And if you use button number seven, um, well, it, it, it gives you a warning that you already uh, use this button for uh, the landing gear switch. Um, well, in that case, clear current input and use the correct button, which is button number eight. Validate and you're all set to go. Well, almost set to go. So uh, we can also uh, take a look at the sensitivity. And uh, well, I uh, used to uh, set the sensitivity to uh, 30% because I uh, don't want my stick to be... Uh, well, I, I like it if my, my stick is um, is a little bit uh, isn't, isn't that um, sensitive uh, around the, the center point of the stick, so you can um, make small corrections and uh, well don't see a, you know, big um, big flight inputs. So that's why I set my sensitivity to uh, thirty minus thirty percent. Um, well, normally I have my dead zone at two percent. So well, let's set it uh, this way. Uh, for the for the stick as well, and for the slider, well, yeah, you don't want to use uh, uh, you you want to uh, use a linear input for your slider, so just leave your slider as it is, and uh, make sure the dead zone is at zero percent, because otherwise you, uh, well, yeah, you have uh, w w yeah don't have a great input uh, for f for your throttle. Okay, so that's done. Then we click apply and save. And well, you're done. You can start flying with the uh, input you just set. 